Okay, guys, let's begin this video with injective burn auction. So it burns 60% of all exchange fees every week through an auction process. The ongoing auction process ends in two days and 51 minutes. So you can bid and the winner gets that uh, injective, uh, the tokens and they also burn the injective tokens that you bid. So I forgot to talk about it in my full review of injective. That's why I'm bringing it up. So I will link the video in the description for the full overview of injective and what I think about the injective protocol. But this video is going to be about the updates that have been happening in the last few days. A lot has been going on even right after I released the video. So I needed to, you know, um, cover that one too. So injective is one of the hot cryptocurrencies right now and is there for a good reason. It has officially integrated FXPS on chain. So now decentralized applications built on injective can now begin to seamlessly launch Forex products and markets. So it's truly decentralized real world assets powered by injective and are starting to take the shape that is needed for DeFi. So I think it's going to be integrated with the Pith network. Um, and you know, Helix says it's great to see Forex market on Helix. So it will be great to trade uh, Forex on injective and you know, it's fast, it's cheap. So it has everything that is needed to build a truly decentralized protocol. A whole lot of other things happening, including uh, not limited to the liquid staking, which is also coming very soon in injective. So you can stake your, uh, your injective and also have access to it if you feel like trading, lending, or doing whatever you want with your tokens. And if you choose to hold it for a duration, you know, that you get paid for that duration that you hold, uh, you get incentivized. So with its interoperability goal, Injective is now bringing Solana to the Cosmos ecosystem. It recently became the only layer one in the Cosmos universe to integrate both Wormhole and Pit. And so now assets such as Solana's token, Sol, can quickly enter Injective using Wormhole, while other asset data originating from Solana can be uh, can be also relayed through the Pit Oracle network. A lot has been happening, but this is something even above what we all thought they are going to do for Solana. So now they are bringing the entire Solana developers ecosystem and everything to Injective. So Injective launches Cascade and is the first interchain Solana SVM rollup. The Cascade helps to unlock about 9 billion plus Solana developer ecosystem for Injective, and that's huge. So when it comes to Cascade, well, it's a smart contract that can be deployed on Injective's Cascade rollup. So it's just like you would on Solana. This is because of Cascade's compatibility with Solana C-level virtual machine, the SVM. There are two core ideas that form the basis of Cascade, and this rollup is going to be both optimistic and sovereign. So as an optimistic uh, rollup, periodically it pulls the result of transactions to some settlement layer along with a bounty. So if a challenger correctly assesses that the execution was valid, well, the challenger receives some or all of the bounty that was pledged. The settlement layer must have some sort of method to determine whether a challenge is correct or is not. And then it has the sovereign rollup. So by contrast, Sovereign rollups don't require such smart contracts to perform settlement. Instead, sovereign rollups like Cascade circulate fraud proofs, so directly to Light's clients. If the majority of Cascade becomes dishonest, these circulated fraud proofs ensure that an honest minority can still maintain the integrity of the chain. And when it comes to production of blocks in Cascade, it's primarily managed by a single party called a sequencer, which helps the network by providing the following services, such as providing transaction confirmations and state updates, constructing and executing rollup blocks, and posting rollup blocks to the settlement layer when they are passed to the consensus layer. So the goal of Cascade is to bring into the world a hyperscalable, secure, permissionless, and trust-minimized and high-throughput SVM rollup. So Solana is now welcomed to the injective ecosystem and even the Cosmos ecosystem at large. If you are holding injective, well, you are having a, a great fun now because the price is going 
crazy. And to me, until it breaks down this line, um, I'm still very, very happy for what is coming. And even this is for just the short term. In the long term, if you're holding injective, you will be looking at three digits. But just like anything I say, it is not a financial advice. It's just my opinion. And you have to do your own research in coming to understanding on whether you're going to buy, sell, or hurdle injective or any other product. So I think injective is, in my opinion, is going to have three digits. That means it's going to have $100 and above. Price is now $5.37. And just seven days ago, it was $3.70-ish. The great thing is still, it has a maximum, uh, a fully diluted market cap of $536 million. So that's not anything crazy, right? I'm not even talking about the market cap. I'm talking about everything in circulation. And don't forget, it has a burning mechanism. And so that's great, right? That means this is deflationary token. Majority of the tokens are all already in circulation. And for the fact that even the fully diluted market cap is just around 500 million is a great thing. So 10x from here, we'll be having 5 billion. But looking at how great this ecosystem is growing, if it keeps going at this, rate well then the sky is the limit so guys this is all i wanted to bring to your attention if you have not subscribed please i talk about injective protocol router protocol you know ubt hedera hashgraph the great cryptocurrencies you know with great potential